Fox 4. This is breaking news. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for watching Fox 4 News at 6. I'm Chris Shaw. And I'm Caitlin Knapp. For the past three hours, we've watched a dramatic scene unfold on I-75 through live cameras and the photos and videos you've been sending us. A plane crashed on I-75 and struck another car. So let's talk about what we know right now. We can confirm two people were killed in that crash. And this is pretty incredible, especially when you see images like this. We are hearing that three of the five people who were on board this plane apparently got out of the wreckage. That's according to the Naples airport. We're going to start our coverage tonight with Fox 4's Victoria Scott. She is in studio and Victoria, you heard a similar story play out on radio traffic recordings as first responders jumped into action in those crucial moments. Despite a chaotic scene, they remain calm, working to get to the plane, save who they could and put out the fire. Take a listen. On I-75, there was a crash site. All you need to do is have a helicopter also landed on I-75. Beware. 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 All units move All up units to the crash site. Drop when you fall. Drop when you fall. Two pilots are still on the plane. Three others are on the plane. Three others are on the plane. Now we got a hold of the Collier County Fire Rescue. He told us several agencies worked the crash and put out the fire. We'll bring you more information as soon as we learn it. In studio, Victoria Scott, Fox 4. Again, the Collier County Sheriff's Office reports two people have died in the fiery plane crash on I-75. The FAA says a total of five people were on board. And once again, we are hearing that three people miraculously made it out of that plane, Chris. Pretty incredible. It is incredible. Let's talk about what we know about that plane. It was a private jet that had flown from Columbus, Ohio, and was on its way to Naples. It was getting ready to land at the airport there. Now, we have several journalists on the ground working their way safely through the traffic to bring you this story. I believe we are going to go live to one of those reporters right now. Fox Wars Dominga Murray was in Benita Springs when this crash happened. It took her several hours just to get to the side of this plane crash on I-75 near Pine Ridge Road. Dominga, what can you tell us where you are right now? I'm Fox 4's Dominga Murray and I'm here on I-75 near exit 105 and I just want you to take a look over here. You may be able to see that a plane crashed here just a little bit ago around a little bit after the hour of three and this is what we know about the people who are on the plane at this time. The jet was big enough for about 14 passengers were on and we know that three have lived. We have those reports in and we know that two are confirmed dead and we're working to find out any other details. This plane did hit a car and we are looking to find out the conditions of the people who are in the car at that time and we will report that here on Fox 4 on air and online. Back to you. And we do want to get you around this. Obviously, a large area of I-75 is closed from Pine Ridge Road to Golden Gate Boulevard. So really here on a Friday night, obviously being during season, a lot of folks trying to get home here. And we are seeing a couple routes around that. This one being Livingston uh, Road. That you, that's probably the slowest go of it. But then you can get a little bit further out near Airport Polling Road, right near the Naples Airport, a little bit better off there. Also, Collier Boulevard are very much backed up on the other side of I-75. But really the key here tonight, folks, is just pack your patience getting around uh, Southern Collier County. Now the FAA posted a statement along with the NTSB. They will be investigating this. I've been in contact with both of these agencies. They're also working with law enforcement. Again, we don't know about those three people that were able to escape how bad their injuries are. Again, this is a really preliminary report that they are going to be putting out likely within the next business day. So that would be on Monday. So it's going to take quite a bit of time to really get a handle on this crash and truly find out what happened but we heard from some agencies that they were saying that there was engine failure before this crash happened Chris. Yeah, the Naples airport reiterated that as well they say as that plane was making its way in to the Naples airport there were reports that there were engine failures so that it could explain some of the trouble that the airplane had as it was coming in.
Yeah, and we're still looking to learn more information, but we're about to show you some of those images and videos from this crash. We'll take a look in just a second. Again, let's kind of recap everything that is happening here. The fatal plane crash on I-75 near Pine Ridge Road, close to Golden Gate Parkway as well. Breaking news tonight that we brought you a little bit before our five o'clock hour. Two people are dead after a plane bound for Naples crashed again off I-75 in Collier County. This is near mile marker 105. And the black smoke you see in the sky, that was the first alert to a lot of people in the Naples area and the people who were driving driving on I-75 that something was wrong. Investigators with the Highway Patrol and Collier County closed off the interstate almost immediately, so not many people saw these images you see right here, that airplane on fire. But again, as we are, uh, we want to reiterate one more time, we are tracking this breaking news for you. This plane crash on I-75, two people killed, three others who were in the plane have made it out, and we are working to bring you more from our live crews who are in Naples right now.